Hello again, I am Blunty, and if you've a need to make recordings of what's going on on your iPhone or iPad, whether it be for app reviews, demos, tutorials, or even game walkthroughs and the like, then the latest version of OS X, Yosemite, has a really nifty trick that's about to make your life way easier. Built right into Yosemite and iOS 8 is the ability to directly record your iOS device's screen. Before now, there were three common ways to record your iPhone screen, either by recording with a camera, and I have a tutorial on how to do that the best way possible if you're interested, or you could have used the HDMI out cable and fed it into a dedicated capture device, or even airplay the screen of your iPhone to an Apple TV and then use its HDMI output into a capture device. Though thanks to the HDCP copy protection Apple employs, you'll also need a way to strip that out before recording as possible. But forget all of that. Now it's one of those lovely Apple, it just works things. Plug in your iPhone or iPad into your Mac, start up QuickTime, select new movie recording from the file menu, and then from the drop down source list next to the record button, simply select your device. And when you're ready, hit record. It really is that easy. That is all there is to it. And it seems to work flawlessly. Well, to be fair, the end result is flawless. Clean, smooth recording with no stuttering, no frame drops, no audio lag or any kind of issues. However, the preview that QuickTime shows you on your Mac while you're recording may stutter a bit, even freeze or stop feeding the audio through your speakers. But don't panic, as disconcerting as this may be, the final recording itself seems entirely unaffected by any of the issues in the preview. It is possibly my very favourite new feature in Yosemite, which if you're curious I've had no other problems with in general since updating a few days ago, everything's gone really smoothly. So, app and game reviewers, demo makers, tutorial guides, and anyone who needs to capture the screen of their iOS devices, if you hadn't noticed this feature, or haven't upgraded yet, I bet you're grinning right now, aren't you? I am. Thanks for watching, I hope this has been useful to you. I am Blunty, and I will catch you next time.